The Scottsbluff City Council is set to hear a $1.5 million loan request for Prime Metal Products after getting approval from the LB840 Committee. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, the economic development funding application by Prime Metal Products is anticipated to go before the Scottsbluff City Council next week, following a final review of the agreement by the LB840 Application Review Committee. The request for a $1.5 million loan with job creation credits received a positive recommendation from the three members of the panel present last week. But Wednesday, the full committee took a final look at the contract language and terms of the document. Committee Chair Jim Trumbull noted there are a number of funding contingencies in the project proposal, but often what's needed is just one entity to say yes. Somebody might be going, well, yeah, we will do this contingent upon you getting your LB840 funding. Or, you know, LB840 will do this contingent upon you getting the reuse funds and gearing. So at some point in time, somebody has to be first because everybody else is contingent upon everybody else. So if no one ever steps forward, you're going, well, I can't get this until you guys say yes. Under the terms of the proposal, investors will also be putting up $1.2 million in cash and equipment for the $7.4 million project, which would create up to 70 jobs for the manufacture of HVAC ductwork for use in commercial construction and renovation. Well, the jury has acquitted a Scottsdale man who had been accused of sexually assaulting a five-year-old girl eight years ago. It took the jury approximately three hours after hearing closing arguments this morning to deliver their not guilty verdicts in the case against Jimmy Darnell. Defense attorney Marin Chalupka says she's relieved that Darnell's name is cleared and this ordeal is over. I have known that Jim is innocent for as long as I've known the facts of this case. I was very honored that he had asked me to represent him and I'm honored to have had a chance to be of service to him and, and I am convinced of his innocence and I'm glad that the jury understands it too. In her closing arguments, Chalupka told the jurors that they were the last line of defense of preventing an innocent man to be wrongfully convicted after being the subject of a long series of evolving false stories. We'll straight ahead, snow this morning, but a mild Friday in our mix. The lawyers got your Thursday evening forecast right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we believe it shouldn't cost you money to access your money. That's why we offer free ATMs anytime, anywhere. Whether you are across town or traveling abroad, there won't be an added expense to access the funds in your Platte Valley Bank account. Free ATMs are just one of the great benefits of banking with us. Stop by to talk to one of our friendly associates to discuss what else Platte Valley Bank has to offer. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scottsbluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scottsbluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. This is KNEB.TV Weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, as we take a look across the area this evening, we're going to be dealing with clear skies and winds settling down in that 5 to 10 mile an hour range. Really not a bad looking night at all. So we're going to just call it clear and quiet across the area. Now, as we go into tomorrow, temps are going to be much warmer tomorrow and really Friday or Saturday into Sunday stay fairly nice as well. Breezy to windy at times, though, and then some snow is going to be possible by late on Sunday. Yesterday, we hit 36 after a morning low 
of 17. Look at that low back in 1899 at 45 degrees below zero. 200 of an inch of moisture from some of that snow. So we're at uh, about uh, about normal for the month and still uh, less than half of where we should be for the year so far. And we do have a couple of things to uh, concer be concerned about, and that's some high wind watches. These are over here in the wind prone areas of Wyoming. We'll zoom in and show them to you. Areas generally west of I-25 again, and uh, between Cheyenne and Laramie, and then also south of the Medicine Bow area in that summit area of I-80. Going to be dealing with some very strong winds as we go through the day tomorrow and really on into Saturday as well. Boy, look at this cold air. It's entrenched here to our north and east. Watertown at 11 below. It's four below in Sioux Falls. Moderates to the teens and eastern portions of Nebraska. Then 20s to near 30 here in our area. And then, of course, cooler as you would expect it up in the mountains. As we take a look here in our region, close to 30 in a few locations. Wheatland hits 30 right now, 29 in Scotts Bluff, 25 in Sydney. Winds are light, that's the good news, under 10 miles an hour, so we're not dealing with too bad in the wind department and wind chills primarily in the teens to near 20 degrees. Let's take a look at our bus stop forecast tomorrow. If you're heading out on Valentine's Day, sunny skies when you get on the bus. Temperatures in the low 20s and just a few clouds on the way home and 55 for your afternoon temperature. Yeah, that, that was a 55 out there. Nothing doing tonight. Clear skies all across the region. Winds are going to be fairly light. Temperatures are going to fall, though, because of those clear skies and calm winds. We'll drop into the teens. Really not too bad, though, for this time of year. Then tomorrow we're really going to have a, just a, full, a day full of sun. Some very light cloud cover sneaks in in the afternoon. You'll see a few pop in. And then late tomorrow afternoon and evening, here comes a little cloud uh, cover back in off to our north and west, but that's really about it as we go through tomorrow night into early on Friday morning. Look at these temps tomorrow, closing in on 60 in a few areas, low to mid 50s. Might This might be a little too aggressive, we'll just have to see with some of that light snow cover that's on the ground. Nothing coming here the next 36 hours. But as we take a look out into the extended forecast, we do have a couple of different model solutions to show you. Let's talk first here. Uh, we'll get past uh, tonight and we'll show you the European model. There we go. Uh, the European model for snow. Very light snow in our area, moderate to heavy snow off to our uh, north and west. And as you can see, uh, some light snow is really all that's being picked up here. Moderate to heavy snow uh, in the high country. Very similar to the uh, American model. Some light snows in our area with moderate to heavy snows in the high country. So both these models starting to come in better alignment that we probably aren't going to see a whole lot of snow as we go Sunday night into Monday. A clear night tonight, quiet, 19 for a low. And for tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with sunshine, but breezy conditions. Winds could gust 40 plus at times. Thanks to those breezes, man, we're going to get up there to nearly 60 degrees in some areas tomorrow. Our seven day forecast, we fall back into the 40s on Saturday, low 50s on Sunday. Cooler there as we go into Monday, and we're just put a slight chance of some snow on our forecast map. And then uh, we stay pretty cold through Wednesday and moderate a bit by Thursday of next week. No big storm systems on the horizon for the next seven days. Calling all grass masters, fescue fanatics, and stewards of St. Augustine to the springtime sprawlers, backyard scholars, and cultivators of the cul-de-sac. Whether you're a rookie or a pro, run with us. For all the green thumbers, newcomers, and toy picker-uppers, run with us on a John Deere mower because this is more than just grass. It's home. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit 21st Century Equipment in Alliance, Torrington, Scotchbluff, and Bridgeport, or visit 21stCenturyEquipment.com. When we combine our energy, we are able to accomplish incredible things and take on the greatest challenges. We're stronger than we could have ever been alone because our energy works better together. Tri-State and My Roulette Company. Brighter, stronger, better together. At TC and More in Scotts Bluff, we believe it's the little things that make your house a home. Start with home decor. Brighten up any room in your house with flags, wall decorations, and custom art pieces. Next, brighten up your wardrobe with clothing and accessories like jewelry and purses from the Myra Collection. And remember, seniors and military members receive an additional 10% discount. 
visit our website, tcandmore.com, and like us on Facebook, TC and More, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. Every cookie sold in the Girl Scout cookie program helps girls learn lifelong lessons in people skills, decision making, money management, goal setting, and business ethics. It's amazing how much you can learn from a cookie. The Girl Scout Cookie Program. Think outside the box. Welcome back. A 48-year-old Scotchluff man has been sentenced to three to five years in prison after getting caught with more than 12 grams of methamphetamine during an August probation, probation search of his home. Vincent Throckmorton was sentenced this week to the three to five year prison term on a conviction of distribution of a controlled substance after pleading guilty to the amended charge back in December. That sentence will run concurrent to the 12 to 24 month sentence handed down in October for violating the terms of his probation on a 2017 meth distribution conviction. He had initially been sentenced to three years of probation in that case. Throckmorton received credit for 176 days already served. Well, District 47 Senator Steve Erdman of Bayard has announced this week that he will be seeking a second term in office. Erdman filed paperwork this week in front of Secretary of State Bob Evnen as Erdman wraps up the last year of his four-year term. In a release, it says that he has been fighting hard for property tax relief for constituents in District 47 and beyond. Prior to serving in the Nebraska legislature, Erdman served Morrill County on the Board of Commissioners. And the University of Wyoming Board of Trustees is meeting this week to interview semifinalists for the UW presidency and discuss terms of employment. The Board of Trustees received a list of semifinalists from the UW Presidential Search Committee last week. And following this week's special executive sessions, the board intends to select approximately three finalists who will be publicly identified and invited to come to campus for open sessions with UW stakeholders during the week of February 24th. Interviews of the finalists would be February 27th, with the board anticipated to extend an offer to the successful candidate by March 2nd. The new president is expected to be in office by July 1st. Well, straight ahead, Chris Cottrell heads to WNCC to talk Cougar basketball with coaches Gibney and Ferenger. We'll be back on the sports desk right after this. Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport, including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. Winter storms can be very dangerous this time of year. If heavy snow and ice bring down power lines, stay clear of them and warn others to do the same. A down power line doesn't have to be arcing, sparking, or smoking to be live and deadly. Also call the authorities and your local utility provider immediately. If you do lose power, stay inside, dress warmly, and keep a close eye out for infants and the elderly. So make sure to take extra precautions this winter season. Brought to you by Roosevelt Public Power District, your touchstone energy provider, the power of human connections. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte, the bank to think of first. We've got a big night of basketball coverage coming up tonight here on the Rural Radio Network. That includes doubleheader coverage yeah. from Cougar Palace right here on KNEB.TV with the WNCC women's and men's teams playing their regular season 
home finales against NJC. For the Cougar women right now, they've won 20 straight games after an 18-point win over at EWC on Tuesday night. Earlier this season, the Cougars went on the road and beat NJC in Sterling. Yeah, uh, NJC, they've got a really nice team again this year. Uh, they gave us a really tough game down at their place. Uh, and so they've got, they've got two guards that can really, really drive it and get downhill that we're going to have to keep out of the paint. Uh, you know, and, and then they're a really good offensive rebounding team. And so if we can stop dribble penetration uh, and then limit their offensive rebounds, I think we should uh, have a nice opportunity. They're a top three team in the country right now. The Cougar women hoping to finish strong during the top seed in the regional tournament. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to just take it one game at a time and, and keep this thing rolling in the right direction. Uh, you know, we've, we've won 20 consecutive games, and so that's been, you know, an incredible accomplishment. Uh, and, and we're just going to try and keep it rolling and, and make sure we take it one game at a time. It is the North Division's turn to host the Region 9 tournament this year, so no matter what, at some point, the Lady Cougars will be traveling for the postseason. What about the Cougar men? They had their five-game winning streak snapped over in Torrington earlier this week, and right now the Cougars, they don't have a lot of bodies to turn to. Head coach Corey Farragher has been dressing only eight guys of late, and he's played only six earlier this week in that loss to the Lancers on Tuesday. Yeah, and we're just asking to have stronger shoulders, not ask for a lighter load. Understand you're carrying your weight and then some, because sometimes these teammates need held up right now. we got a, guys playing serious minutes, taking on some serious roles for extended parts of the game. So mentally and physically, you know, we get a little bit worn down throughout the night. Um, but I appreciate our guys' effort. I appreciate that they continue to show up and they continue to be competitive night in and night out for Western Nebraska. Will be a tough one tonight. NJC on top of the South standings. They are in position to host the regional tournament, but the Cougars made it tough on them in Sterling, losing by just three. You know, we'll let water find his level. We'll let God do his work as far as how this thing plays out and where we're seated at. Most importantly, we're trying to play our best basketball still. Every program in the country is striving to play their best basketball right now. And for us, that continues to be connected on the defensive end, take care of the glass, offensively continue to share the sugar, make sure that we're trying to make plays for our teammates and understand that at the end of the day, we really need each other from top to bottom. Um, and each and every guy has got to bring their best effort, their best focus, you know, to even give us a shot at this point in the season. We'll get started with KDB.TV coverage plus radio tonight on KOZY 1013 with Chuck Schwartz at 515 for pregame. High school basketball on the radio tonight. Gehring's at McCook, Scott's Bluff at North Platte. They'll flip locations for games tomorrow night and then all four teams are off on Saturday. Coverage for Gehring the next two nights on KMOR and for Scott's Bluff 106.9 the trail. And district wrestling taking place at WNCC this weekend for the B4 tournament. A two-day event. Action starts tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock and then on Saturday at 9.30 in the morning. A 12-team field for Cougar Palace should make for a great venue for district wrestling tomorrow and Saturday. C4 teams are in Hershey and area class D teams head for districts to North Platte St. Pat's. That'll do it for today. That is the latest from right here at the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. Ryan back to check the community calendar with an update right after this on KNB.TV. Hey, it's Angela from Tuxedos and Men's Formal Wear by Angela's. You know you can count on us to dress you upright for those special occasions. Whether you need a business suit for the office or a formal tuxedo for the wedding, we offer several options from full ensembles to individual pieces with a customized fit. Whether you're looking to buy or rent, I'm here to offer you that one-on-one -on -one customized service on your time schedule. Now with the option to be mobile, call me today at 308-635-0001. That's Angela's at 308-635-0001. Sometimes events in life are planned, others a happy surprise. No matter what life change you're navigating, whether you're getting married or just want a bigger yard for your pup, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Retirement, a new season in life where you can change how you live it. And something easier, convenient, that feels just right. When it's time, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. 
So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At Compliments for You and Your Home, we're not ready to take down Christmas decor quite yet. Stop in and pick up great Christmas decor at great prices with all Christmas items 30% off. And remember, Compliments has ladies fashions that appeal to all ages and sizes. Be sure to look through our clearance racks for last chance bargains. Compliments for you and your home, 1708 Broadway, downtown Scotts Bluff. At Platte Valley Bank, we offer loans with competitive rates and quick decisions from our experienced lenders. Our team works hard to get to know you and your business. From ag to auto, home loans and everything in between, we're here to help. Stop by Platte Valley Bank or apply online to find the loan that is right for you today. And finally tonight, there's a full house at the Panhandle Humane Society in Scottsbluff. In an effort to open up kennel space, staff is offering a sale on all cats they have available for adoption. Okay, so we are having a special also on Valentine's. Um, we are having $14 off um, each cat. Just because we have so many cats coming in, we need to get a good home for them, each and every one of them. From now until Saturday, $14 will be taking off the regular adoption price, which is $75 for kittens, $50 for regular cats, and $25 for senior cats aged 8 and up. The Panhandle Humane Society is also hosting the Forever Be Mine Adoption event this Saturday at Monument Mall from 1 to 4. Both dogs and cats will be on hand and potential adopters can meet these prospective pets outside of the kennel environment. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you here next time.